They tell the most wonderful story of the city in Russia that was chosen to showcase the most recent achievement of scientific invention. The story of the modern train. The newspapers reported that there would be many cars carrying cargo and passengers that would be led by a locomotive to the nearest town. It was going to be a sight to behold. All the who's who of the region were invited to watch this incredible spectacle. The governor, the mayor, and many public dignitaries. At the appointed time, the siren blared, the smoke billowed, but the train cars didn't budge. All the machinery was working, the engine was running smoothly, but alas, no movement. That's when they all realized with a shock what had really happened. The cars simply weren't attached to the locomotive, so they all got left behind. I always loved this anecdote, because to me, it's a perfect metaphor for the Jewish year. The month of Tishrei, the month we are just leaving behind, which is full of major holidays, is the true locomotive. And this month is meant to power and charge 11 train cars, the coming months of our wonderful year. Rosh Hashanah gives us submission to a higher power. Yom Kippur gives us tshuva. Sukkot gives us unity. And Simchas Torah gives us joy. The problem is that all too often, the locomotive could remain detached from the rest of the cars. The shul is actually full on the high holidays, but not on a regular Shabbos. We cry that God is one at Ne'ilah, but the outside world has another opinion. We hug the Torah and dance with it, but it doesn't always translate into joining an actual Torah class. So what we need is a connector, a time to focus on actively linking our Tishrei to the rest of the year. This happens on this Shabbos, Shabbos Bereshis, when we begin reading the Torah anew. Earlier this week, we were on the tremendous high of Simchas Torah. However, after this week, there are no holidays on the horizon for a while. That's why our behavior this Shabbos is pivotal. It's crucial. As the Hasidic saying goes, the way we set ourselves up on Shabbos Bereshis, that's the way it'll go all year round. First and foremost, that means practically doing absolutely everything this Shabbos as we should. But perhaps more importantly, it's a time for inner reflection, a time to look back at the inspiration we received this month and attach it in some concrete way to the coming new year, thereby setting ourselves up for true success. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom Umevorach.